What's up guys, Kurt here from 5MinuteGuitar.com. Today's tutorial is for South of the Border off of Ed's new album featuring Camila Cabello and Cardi B. This one's actually one of my favorite songs to play off this album. I think you're gonna have a lot of fun playing it, so let's get right into it. If you want to play this the same as the actual song, you are going to need a capo on your fifth fret. But if you don't have one, you can still follow along with this tutorial and play it just fine. But I would recommend getting one, and you can check out the one I use in the link in the description below this video. Just starting on an A minor, the strumming pattern we're going to use for the entire song sounds like this. So it's a bit of an off rhythm, so just listen to it and try and follow along. But it's going to be strum, mute, strum, mute, strum. And all you need to do in the mutes is rest the side of your palm on the strings just to stop the strings from sounding. Just that simple. Then once you're going to do that, you're going to play three times on A minor, then once on C, F, and E minor 7. You can just play that if you want to, but I like to make it a little bit more interesting by adding a bass run of the open 5th string, then 2nd fret, then 3rd fret, instead of the C chord. And then on the E minor 7, add an extra down, down, up, to make it sound like this instead. And one other thing you can do if you want to is make that bass run also palm muted. So instead of open, palm mute. So there's lots of things you can do to change it around to make it a little bit more fun or interesting to play. I like to add some of those things in to make it more fun for me to play and make it more interesting for my audience to watch. Then from there, the only other part you're going to need to play this entire song is the part played in the pre-chorus. For the pre-chorus, we're going to use the exact same strumming pattern, we're just going to change chords in different places. So all we're doing here is F twice to C, then G twice to A minor. And then you're going to play that whole thing two times, but on the second time, stay on that G instead of switching to the A minor. And if you can play those parts, you can play the entire song. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button and let me know in the comments below. It really does make more of a difference than you think. Also, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you haven't already to learn your favorite songs on guitar as fast as humanly possible. I'll see you in the next 5-Minute Guitar Lesson.